Oh, hi there, mateys. How y'all doing? Welcome back. Today we're going to be joining Chapter 9, Party Like Pirate Day. Wally tried and tried to get the pugs to reveal their surprise, but they wouldn't even give him a hint. You're just gonna have to trust us, Puggly said. The sun would come up soon, and there wasn't much time left to figure out the rest of the captain's codes. So Wally and Henry got back to work. They took Captain Redbeard's list of instructions off the wall and brought it down to, the, to their quarters. Then they snuggled under the covers with a sheet of parchment laid flat in front of them. The second to last code, step three, dessert. D log N I D E V D V E R R looks like just a bunch of random letters. Henry said. Wally stared at the strange words. Hmm. And he squinted his eyes so hard that the letters started to blur. Then Wally had an idea. He didn't know much about decorations or cooking, but he knew a lot about dessert. Maybe he could w work backward. If he couldn't think up some great desserts, it might help him figure out the captain's code. Wait a second! Wally barked. Arr, 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 arr. Backward! He looked closer at the code and suddenly it made sense. The words were written backward. Henry cried, figuring it out at exactly the same time. Treats taste better hot, not cold, and always when they are served in gold. Arr, 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 arr. Wally held. I know what he's talking about. Captain Redbeard wants us to serve the banquet treats in a special gold dish he saves for party like a pirate day. He made me serve his snack in one of those fancy dishes. Henry didn't answer. He was already staring at the next clue, which said... Step four. In case you were wondering, this one's easy. It's Morse code, Henry said. That's the secret language of navy ships, spies. But it's just a bunch of dots and dashes, Wally noted. You're, a, you're lucky I know so much about life at sea, mate. In Morse code, each letter of the alphabet is represented by a mix of dots and dashes. If you signal it over the radio, dots are a short sound and dashes are long. Sitting up in bed, Henry got a pencil and paper. He wrote down all the letters from A to Z. Then he scribbled dots and dashes next to each of them. His tongue poked out the side of his mouth as he thought it through. I've got it! This one says pirate party rule number one. Lots of games means fun, fun, fun. Ha ha. What? Wally asked. It doesn't say what kind of games, Henry pointed out. Maybe the captain wants us to figure out for ourselves, Wally realized he wagged his tail. He felt like he'd just cracked the most important code of all, the pirate code. Henry yawned. Ooh. He's what I'm thinking, mate. I think we do our best to make the pirate day party as fun as we can. We might not know how to do things exactly as Captain had planned, but it will be a blast, no matter what. Wally couldn't have said it better himself, and he knew Piggly and Puggly agreed. Uh-huh. 
Wally curled up beside his best mate, falling asleep almost instantly. Being his own captain was exhausting work. <gasps> At first light, Henry and Wally jumped out of bed. They had so much to do before the party. Curly was still running around helping the captain, but all the other puppies reported for duty. We have lots of messes to clean up, Wally told the crew, and a lot of party to plan, and no one's going to tell us how to do it. So let's figure it out for ourselves. Spike raised his trembling paw. Wally, could I? He could, could tell, Wally could tell he had an idea, but was afraid to say it out loud in front of all the other pups. Uh, could I? Spike was afraid of pretty much everything. What is it, Spike? Wally asked. I think I know how we can fix the mess we made with the paint, Spike said nervously. We could um, paint more paw prints on the deck. They could lead puppies to different parts of the party. It will be like a dotted line on a treasure map. Wally yelled, Ow! Follow the prints to find the fun games and food. Everyone loved his idea and several pups got to work with paint filled paws. I'll take charge of the galley. Piggly said. She led a group of pups down to start cleaning things up, but there wasn't enough time to clean all the dishes before the party. Piggly thought for a second. Hmm. We can serve the fish in golden bowls, she said, but I have a fun new idea for how to serve the captain's special sausages mates she barked, arr, 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 excitedly. We can stab them with swords and serve them up like, like shish kebabs. Puggy piñatas. Everything is so different, Redbeard shouted. Wally held his breath. <gasps> the rest of the crew lowered their heads in fear. The captain blinked, took it all in and yelled, I love it! The puppy pirates cheered, yippee! The captain went on in his loudest, most important voice, my dear crew, it seems that this year, just like every year, I planned the bestest, most spectacular pirate day party in all seven seas. Three cheers for Captain Redbeard, hip hip, Hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! The others called out, Ow! Woo! Woo, woo, woo! Redbeard held his head high. I just love how you followed my directions perfectly, he sighed happily. <sighs> the puppy pirates looked at each other. No one wanted to tell the captain that not all of his instructions were so clear. At the end of the day, maybe it didn't matter. The puppy pirates had pulled off a party everyone on board could enjoy, and so no one had to walk the plank. I have one last thing to say before we get down to business. Redbeard turned to Curly. The sneezes and stomach flea took down your mighty captain at the worst possible time. But Curly kept us afloat, and for that I must say, thank you, Curly. B, you have proven yourself to be an excellent leader. Someday you will make a wonderful captain of your own ship. Curly low, lowered his head and bowed. Don't thank me for this party, Captain. Thank your crew. They worked extra hard to make sure the party was a success.
but you were a great substitute captain, Wally ruffled. Three cheers for Curly. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Wally caught Old Salt in the eye. Be so, Curly smiled. But you lot were your own captains when you needed to be. That's the pirate code, right? Right, Wally barked. Just to make it absolutely clear, Redbeard said, none of you pups will ever be as good as me. Of course, Curly laughed. <laughs> no one will ever captain a ship as well as you do, sir. Yes, yes. All right, then. Who's ready to party like a pirate? Captain Redbeard gazed at his crew. You all have one order to follow today. Have fun! Aye, aye, Captain. The puppy pirates scattered across the deck the rest of the afternoon. They sang and danced and chased and ate like royalty. By late in the day, the other sick puppies felt well enough that everyone was able to take part in the fun. So much so that they sat back and listened to a special message. Hello guys, hope you guys are doing good. I just wanted to record a little video, and sing you a little song. This one is called Before It's Too Late. And it's about just showing your love whenever you can and trying to be open to all the different kinds of people that are out there in this world because we're all a little bit different, but we're all the same. So many different kinds of people So many stories to be told So many ways to say I love you So tell somebody you don't know Cause we could all be gone by tomorrow Just like a flickering flame So if you get the chance to follow your heart Go ahead and hop aboard that train Oh, do it Better get on to it, child You gotta let somebody know Gotta let it all go Gotta love before it's too late Some people never know their mama Some never had a family so just remember when you're passing by Try to smile at everyone you see Cause we could all be friends by tomorrow Or maybe that's the way you ought to be So just remember when you hop aboard this train You'll never be without a family Better get on to it, child. You gotta let somebody know. Gotta let it all go. Gotta love before it's too late. Oh, you gotta love. All right. You gotta love. Yeah, you gotta love. You got to love. Better get on to a child You gotta let somebody know Gotta let it all go Gotta love before it's too late I said love before it's too late Get on board before it's too late Love before it's too late Get on board before it's too late Love before it's too late Get on board before it's too late Love
Faut tu les get on board, faut tu les love. Faut tu les get on board, faut tu les love. Faut tu les get on board, faut tu les love. Faut tu les get on board, faut tu les love. Faut tu les get on board, faut tu les love. You gotta love. Oh, before it's too late, yeah. I hope you guys have a good day. When Steak Eye teased one of the shish kebabs on a sword, he glared at the pugs. It's fine, he growled. Rrr. Kind of clever, actually. Doesn't taste as good as something I would have cooked. But I'll eat it anyways. Thanks, Steak Eye, Piggly giggled. <laughs> she knew this was a compliment coming from the cranky cook. The cook narrowed his bulging eyes and said, I assume my galley is clean. Wally looked at, Pug at Pugly nervously. Pugly grinned back. It's, a sp it's spick and span. Under her breath, Ah, oh, she whispered, now. But shiver me timbers, you should have seen the state of that place yesterday. So you can take a look at all of them enjoying the music and the day and eating their shish kebab on a sword and really appreciating one another. Steak Eye whispered back, I, good thing I was in bed all day, eh? As the sun was setting, Captain Redbeard barked loudly. Oh, 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 okay, everyone, game time. What game do we have first? Wally gasped. Oh. He and Henry had forgotten about coming up with the games. He looked at Henry and whimpered, eee! had they ruined the party after all? But before he could say anything, Piggly and Pugly trotted up to the front of the ship and called for everyone's attention. Ahoy there, mates! It's Pug Glorious time, game time, Pugly hollered. Wally breathed a huge sigh of relief. So this was the pug's big surprise. Who wants to be the first to try a puggy piñata? Piggly cried. Captain Redbeard jumped up and down. Me, I do. I love games. I love games. Piggly giggled. Step right up, she offered. The captain a bamboo shooter. Aim at a balloon. If it pops, you'll find a surprise. This is our latest invention. It's a game and a prize in one. We got the idea when we were popping balloons and eating treats yesterday morning. Redbeard looked at the balloons hanging from the deck rail. There were hundreds of them in dozens of colors. Any balloon? Yep. Pugly snorted. Any balloon. If it pops, you're a winner. Redbeard shot at the one of the red balloons hanging nearest him. He missed. Wally looked at Pugs, looked at the pugs nervously. The captain would be very embarrassed if he didn't win a prize. Thankfully, thankfully, after a couple of tries, the balloon burst with a loud Treats came raining out all across the deck. Treats, Captain Redbird exclaimed. There are treats inside the balloons. He leaned in close to Piggly and Pugly and whispered, This game was my idea, right? Of course, Piggly said loudly. Of course, the Puggy Piñatas were your brilliant ideas. Captain, after all, it wouldn't be a party like a pirate day without you, sir. As the puppies ran, fanned across the deck to pop the rest of the puggy piñatas, 
and find their prizes. Wally felt so very happy. He only hoped the stomach flea would stay away for a long while. It was tiring being his own captain all the time, and to tell you the truth, Wally had sort of missed Captain Redbeard while he was sick in bed. He was ready for things on board the Salty Bone to get back to normal. Just then, Wally felt a strange tickling in his nose. He pawed his snout, but the tickling got worse. <gasps> Achoo! A loud, forceful sneeze knocked Wally off his feet. He skidded across the floor, landing in a heap beside the pug's twins. Achoo! Pugly sneezed and sent her crashing into a table heaped with food. Achoo! The blast of Pugly sneeze popped another treat-filled balloon and treats inside the balloon. Achoo! Henry groaned, oh, and rubbed his eyes. Oh no, Wally thought as he sneezed again. It looked like normal would have to wait. Our book had such a good message. The gentle theme of friendship and prosperity and perseverance. So it was a beautiful thing to see that our canine friends were capable of loving one another and enduring each other's personalities and supporting each other when they needed help through the times. Um, and it led to the resolution at the end of the story which was the final component of the story elements that we had covered. So with that being said, it has been a wonderful experience and thank you everyone for joining us in our story read aloud. Thanks so much, mateys. Stay tuned for another book in the near future.